It's so nice to see you again, Kristen. Thank you. Kristen, obviously been a huge fan for a while, but I, here's the thing. Both of you girls, I love it because you're both pocket size. <laughs> you're like... You're like Bruno Mars and Kevin Hart. I'm going to need to see you all together. Yes, Who's right? taller? Please. Who's taller, by the way? Can we have a... She's, let's see. Boy, I don't know what the heels. Let's see. Wait, hold on. She's tiny. Oh, tiny. wow. You're, you're, like, you're like Shaq and Kobe right now. <laughs> this is it. Wow. You're, you are now Heidi Klum. I'm not yes, Heidi look at that. I've never felt larger <laughs> and more I just wanted to see that for myself. <laughs> me Thank too. you for you humoring me. You know what's me. funny, though? We were talking backstage. <laughs> it is funny to be petite. Like, do people want to... They want to pick you up. Immediately. Yeah. <laughs> It's like there's a there's a rule that they don't know like and pat us on the head. And the head, the head pat. The head, oh. head pat. Oh, we're no. cute. Oh, you're we're always cute. cute. Always cute. And we never we were never gorgeous, but as never. my mom says, that's okay. You'll take the cute. I'll take the cute. But you never me. age out of it. And the patting on the head is just a funny if you yeah, go to the that, noogie, that, we don't that, really that, that's know. not good. We can. Well listen, you you may be <laughs> petite in uh, stature, but that voice How is as big that? as it can Thank get. You. Wow. Uh, you are you are halfway to an egot, uh, but this next album might get you even uh, e even yes. a little closer. Congratulations! This could be the Grammy. Still, you never know about those things, but I certainly have collaborated with some great women. And my, it's my a great album cover. I, thank you. I forgot my pants, as you can see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pants are overrated. I just don't right? like pants. <laughs> and so we did the photo shoot, and I was like, maybe I do it with no pants. But my dad was like, thanks. Thank yeah, you right, that. exactly. You said this <laughs> album is your heart and soul. Yeah. We were talking about um, your 51, about turn 50, yeah. and our age and how we're embracing it and loving it. How does the album attribute to that? I, it was, well, it was also these, these musicians, these women that I wanted to celebrate that came before me, and I thought, they've given me a great example and owned who they are. I'm owning who I am now. I'm finally relaxing into myself. If anybody else understands what I mean. Yes. And then these young girls coming up behind me, I want to say, just, just watch and learn, and you'll, when you get there, hopefully you'll, you know, you'll take this music and enjoy it. Well, solid advice. And speaking uh, of one of those girls, I know you redid one of the songs to First Wives Club with it's Ariana Grande. So fantastic. Like, bonded when she was ten. Her grandma brought her backstage to Wicked. Right. And she was on Broadway too. Yes. Back in the day, and yeah. her grandmother said, "My daughter's, my granddaughter's really good." And she kind of hummed something, and I gave her a wand. With the little Glinda one, I said, you are really good. Remember this. And she still has that one. Really? What? Oh, that's so cool. Did you have well, anybody do that for you? Like, when you were younger, were you the theater person in school? or how did Yes, that I was that geeky. Like, thank God Glee came, because I was like, that's my whole life. <laughs> right. Um, I always I mean, I had people I wanted to meet and work with. First, certainly, Carol Burnett has been a big yes. um, influence on me and, and a mentor now. And, but... Luckily, I'm like Reba, you know, I'm, I'm still learning. I still, I right. learned from Ariana. I did, I did my track. I sent it into her. She sent hers back. I immediately went back into the studio. <laughs> I was like, I got to bring up my game. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, we're learning from each other still. And Dolly Parton. Do forget it. Oh, man, legend right there. So I, talented. I can't believe it. I don't happened. know if I'd be able to sing yeah. with her. I think I might get so nervous that um, I might freak out. I was, and I sent, you know, thank goodness for modern technology, because I sent my track in. She sent her track. I did the Ugly Cry, videoed it, <laughs> yeah. and said, I can't believe it. She wrote, she videoed me back. She said, well, I don't know if you like it or hate it, Kristen, because uh. you're crying. Well, of course, it's. I can't believe she gave me that song for us. To That's do. awesome, and, and I love Kristen too. That I mean, be, being a musical theater kid growing up. That's too, right. And Broadway. That, that, that's your uh, it's your roots as well. And and uh, is there a new project on the horizon? There's a couple that I'm attached to, which okay. I'm always willing and love to talk about because I'm excited by it. Um, one is uh, the Broadway production of Death Becomes Her. Ooh. I don't know if you guys remember that movie yeah, with Meryl yeah. Streep, Meryl Streep right. and Goldie Hawn. And then the second is. Um, I don't know if you remember Tammy Faye Baker, but she oh, was yeah. the wife of Jim Baker. Yeah, with the eyelashes, what are you of doing course. Tammy Faye? You gotta rock those eyelashes. I got, oh, wow. I know. So those are two in my in my future. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Also, uh, on your Instagram, it was just National Boyfriend Day. Ah. <laughs> Out of nowhere, Kristen, I see this great picture. You and Josh. <laughs> Tell us about Joshy Bear. Well, he, look ah. how he is. Um, <laughs> how cute you are. He's, you know, we've just been dating about a year, and I usually don't really talk about it. No. But I really, I write, I never do, but I just, I'm very happy, and we'll just see. We'll see. But he's he's a good person. He's a musician. He gets the life, and he's a con he's really kind. Oh, that's cool. He's well, from the South. Couldn't see? ask for more. No. South, couldn't kind, ask. musician. <laughs> These are things that we love. We like. good catch right there. What about acting? What do we have on the acting front? Well, I, I have been working on a, on a pilot that we just sold to Disney Plus, and it's, I'm excited by it. Paul Rudnick is writing it, and you know, I, what I see happening is the lanes and the rules are kind of being open and broken. 
when you look at people like Reese Witherspoon and what she's done with her career and said, I'm only not only going to star in it, I am going to produce it. So luckily, these roles are kind of being opened up more for us. Right. Um, women are definitely having a renaissance, and I love yeah. that. This is one of the reasons that, as I wrote the album, songs down I wanted to sing, I didn't think make a woman strong album, but it just... It kind of seemed like the right time. I oh. love it. Well, it seems like everything's just going great. So happy for. It. I remember when I got to see you at the Hollywood Bowl performing. Yes. That's is that something you might want to come back and? Uh, yes, I always want to huh? come down. The, well, I was there in July, and I'm going to be at Disney Hall um, in, on New Year's Eve, and I've oh, got oh, two nice. weeks on Broadway of for the girls uh, in November at the Nederlander. So, if people find themselves in New York and you want to see the show, come on. Yay. Life is good for Kristen. Thank Her engine you. may be small, but right. watch out for the steam, right? <laughs> That's our club mantra. I see it. Uh, <laughs> if you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now. Thanks.